Hello everyone, I hope each and everybody out there doing great and having an optimum health. In this video, I shall be explaining about gravitation and gravity. And of course, uh, this class will be focused on the Newton's law of gravitation because uh, in my previous classes, I consequently explaining the theory of motions, the law of motions and some mathematical exercise that you already saw. It. If uh, if there is any sort of problem to understand the process I did the mathematics do let me know but in this video I was thinking to start from the gravitation and gravity and then later on I shall be explaining about the acceleration due to gravity then falling bodies and then weightlessness and of course then after we need to explain about the simple pendulum the concept of simple pendulum and some mathematics based on the calculation of simple uh, pendulum because through that process in the entire lecture series uh, this will be maintained what is the gravitation and what is the gravity so this is important to understand that oh, we have mass if we didn't have mass we will be thrown to the uh, space every single object in this entire universe they attract each other so and this attraction is called the gravitations is if one of them is earth suppose in the solar system the planets are attracting each other like suns and uh, moons are attracting each other planet earth and moons attracting each other every single body in this entire universe are attracting each other and this attraction force is known as gravitation so this is gravitation and th this will be gravity and how we need to think is that at first we need to know that what Newton's law of gravitation I've written it in broadly and then it's written that every particle every particle in the universe attract every other particles towards each other this is very important and the magnitude of the force of attractions varies directly as the product of the masses of the particle so in this rules three things is very important that towards each other so we know that two objects are attracting each other and this is towards each other and mostly this varies directly at the product of the masses so each and every particles which have mass so it directly varies on the masses and that is the product of the masses and inversely as the square of the distance so we have to understand what is the inner meaning of this law so if we think that there is an object like this and this is another object so we know that these two objects will attract each other so if we say this is the center of mass this is the center of mass and if we draw a line we will have a joining line so this joining line would be would be their attraction attraction line so the last line that this is inversely as the square of the distance between them which will act along the line joining them so there are some very important part to understand that in between the gravitations and gravity so the gravitation is these two objects would be anything but if one of them is earth if this is earth or this is a mango this is earth this is moon whatever if one of them is earth then that gravitation is known as gravity so the gravity is a part of gravitation so if there is two object and if I say the mass of this object is m1 and the mass of this object is m2 and if I maintain the distance from this point to this point is d because we know that we started in speed velocity acceleration chapter and we know this quantity the speed velocity acceleration chapter those who already started you know this quantity the mass distance so the force so the attraction in between them towards them if I express is as F 
as a force and this is mass the first one is m1 and second one is m2 and the difference is md then the rule says that this f that means this force is proportionate to the product of masses the product of masses and then this force is also inversely as the square of the distance so it will be that 1 divided by d square and then we know that from the rules we got two relationship in between the force and masses and also the force and the distance so from this point we know that if there is a much distance then the force will be less because this is inversely proportionate but if the mass increase the force would be increased because this is proportionate so inversely proportionate and the proportionate means there is a relationship in between this quantity and this quantity so if I add these two we will have that this F is actually actually dependent on m1 times n2 over d square and from that equation we see that there is a relationship in between this force and the masses from the Newton's law of gravitation and if you want to erase this relationship into the equation we need to set up a constant and that constant is is f equal g m1 m2 over d square so in this equation we got um we got an equation that there is a capital g and this capital g is actually the constant which is called the universal constant of universal gravitational constant so this g is known as this g is known as universal gravitational constant this is very important universal gravitational gravitational constant and this is also important while the value is being determined as we know that this is a constant so the value of the g is also constant it means there will be no change so the value of u would be 6.673 times 10 inverse 11 and then i need to put a unit so i need to find out the unit of g from the equations because we got the equations from this principle so we know this is the very important equation that f equal to g m1 m2 by d square and then if it is true if it is true then g would be what g would be f d square by m1 m2 no doubt so if f is equal to g m1 m2 by d square then g would be definitely f d square and m1 m2 would be like that so if i see the unit then f is a force so the unit of force is newton and then this is distance so it would be times meter square and you know this is mass we know that unit of mass is kg so it would be kg times kg would be kg square and if we go it, just turn it into the upper side then it would be kg inverse 2 so the unit of g is newton meter square kg inverse 2 so we can write here that newton meter square kg inverse 2 and this is important so we know that gravitational constant g it has a specific value and the force is totally dependent on two different things that one is mass and one is distance if the mass of the object increased then the force would be automatically increased because it is proportionate but the distance if distance increase the force will decrease because the distance and the force they are inversely proportionate it means if dependent on d if d becomes smaller 
the value the magnitude of f would be bigger and if d is bigger getting bigger and the distance is getting bigger the force will be smaller so from this equation we can have an idea that we need to use these things in terms of identifying the force of two different objects so and of course in case of understanding the dimension of g what would be the dimension so if you can understand the if you see my videos on dimension i explained how to figure out the dimension and and, and you know that m l and t so if we are following that the dimension of g the dimension dimension would be like you know that g f is force and the force dimension is MLT inverse 2 so it would be like MLT inverse 2 times as this is D is a distance and the dimension of distance or length is L so it would be L square as it is square so again this is kg square and this is mass so we can find that the mass dimension would be capital M so it would be M square so if you can erase from this part that m to m this would be m here so it would be like l and l square is l cube t inverse 2 m inverse 1 so this is the dimension of the gravitational constant so l cube t inverse 4 2 m inverse 1 or even we can write that dimension g dimension is m inverse 1 L cube T inverse 2. So this is important. So you can have the dimension of the gravitational constant, you can have the dimension, the unit of the gravitational constant. Till right now that I explained, this is very easy. I think you can have this idea from your previous classes, but the thing is we need to use this understanding on the next level when we will study about the rules of falling bodies when we will study about the acceleration due to gravity because there will be g where we know that the value is 9.8 meter per second square and the simple pendulum because using i mean by by which way we got this idea from the g will be 9.8 meter per second square that will be using the simple pendulum so in this uh, very simple videos I, I explained the shortest thing that the Newton's law of gravitation you must know that every particle in the universe I just remember you that every particles in the universe attracts every other particles towards each other and the magnitude of the force of attraction varies directly as the product of the masses of particles and the inversely as the square of the distance between them acts along the line joining them and from that from that rules we got this and we need to use it on the next level so this is the unit this is the dimension and most importantly one important thing i need to explain that how this thing will be explaining or how this is determined because lots of scientists uh, by lots of experiment they come to a decision that the force in between these two things will be like this like how this thing will be determined if if the rules is like that f is equal to g m1 times m2 sorry if i say like that f equals to g m1 m2 by d square so it would be like that and uh, that uh, g is equal to f d square m1 into m2 suppose suppose the d is one meter and the mass of two object is also one kilogram so if this mass is one kilogram and this mass is also one kilogram so it means if two bodies of one kilogram masses set or placed one meter distance then what would be what would be the force attracting each other the force would be is equal to g as because this is one this is one and this is one so the whole quantity would be one so f would be g that means this value of g here i got 6.673 times 10 inverse 1 it means 
it will be this amount of newton if as you know that the newton is the unit of force that means if two bodies of one kilogram is placed in one meter distance then the attraction of these two bodies would be 6.673 into 10 inverse 11 newton so that is the meaning of capital G, the magnitude of the capital G. So we know that the magnitude of force of two bodies depending on two things, mass and the distance. And also the value of G is equal to the value of F if there is a two bodies of one kilogram is placed one meter distance. So this is very simple lecture. Right now I just explain. On the next video, I shall be explaining about the acceleration due to gravity and the rules of falling bodies by Galileo Galilei. So see you on the next class and keep watching these videos if you if required and for your study and do let me know what is needed from your side. I shall try my level best to upload these classes based on your demand. So see you next class. Take care.